Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's get started. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. If there's a title that stands out for you, there might be a message there for you. And these readings are timeless. Let's see what comes through. There is a masculine in this reading who's debating if I should communicate with Divine Feminine or not. Um, it shows here that some sort of contact, wanting to reach out, either call, text, write a message, something electronic, a message for the Divine Feminine, but should I reach out or... Is this not the right time? This masculine is trying to decide if he should communicate with Divine Feminine. And I, I feel and what I see here in this reading, it has something to do with being, being stuck in some sort of, feels like a dilemma. I, I feel like it's something that might be temporary. Um, but whatever it is, it's something that's not good. Uh, it looks like it's not working out in the favor of masculine. Something that even masculine is not fully aware of. And he requires strength at this time to deal with whatever this is. So he's like, on one hand, I want to reach out to Divine Feminine. I want to start communication. I want to reconnect. But I'm going through this stuff and I don't know if I should reach out at this time or should I focus on taking care of what needs to be worked on first before I reconnect with Divine Feminine. And he is being guided. The communication at this time, he is being guided to do so. It's like the timing is showing as now, even though he is going through whatever this is. It's like the divine is trying to nudge this masculine to make that step to open the communication up, even if he's going through whatever this is. So logically, he's thinking, why would I want to bring divine feminine into this part of my life that's going on right now? Maybe I should make sure that everything is smooth, going well first before I reconnect with divine feminine. But... The reason why he's thinking about reconnecting with Divine Feminine is because he is being intuitively guided. He, it's like the download. He received a download that he needs to open that communication. And I feel like that communication is not for, for like reunion, okay? If it doesn't feel like for the reunion. It feels like to open the communication to rebuild, to restart, to start anew. And it has to do with divine timing here because it's showing here that the divine is really showing, it shows here twice. The divine masculine is being guided twice to reconnect with divine feminine at this time. And I feel it has to do with do it now or something else may prevent this from taking place. It's like, the best way I can explain is like if you need to go from point A to point B and masculine, for example, needs to go from point A to point B, but instead decides to go from point A to point C. In the end, he will end up at point B. 
but it's just that he's taking another direction. It's just going to be more delayed. It's going to take longer. But the divine is trying to show divine masculine, go from point A to point B. But masculine's like, I want to go to point C first. But he will still make it to his destination. It's just that I feel like it can be longer. And I'm kind of hesitant to say this, but I will say it because that's what I'm getting. Because some may not want to hear this, but I feel like it can, that delay may take years. It may be another cycle. Because if he takes a different direction, I feel he will be distracted. I feel at least another, a year or two. Because the word years came, came to mind when, when I was shown the other direction. So this divine masculine, if he does not act now because he's being guide, divinely guided to communicate at this time, even if this doesn't work out, for example, if he doesn't have a job and he's thinking, I don't have employment, I don't have a job, how am I going to support us? How am I going to contribute to our um, connection, our relationship? How will we survive? How will we live? I want to come in when I have a job, right? But the divine's like, release that, release that. Focus on the connection itself and communicate right now. The job will come. Eventually, the job will come. But this time will not come back for you to reconnect with your counterpart. This moment, right? But I feel like eventually they will <laughs> reconnect, but it's just the longer. He will take the longer route from A to C to B rather than going now directly to Divine Feminine. I feel like he may, some of these masculines may choose the option of doing whatever that task is first before communicating with Divine Feminine. So that's the, that's the, that's the, that's what's going to cause some sort of delay is showing here that the masculine is not aware of. He thinks that, okay, now when I focus on if I focus on this job, because it's showing here that if he focuses on that, I'm giving job in as, as an example, but for example, if he focuses on that job, rather than communicating with Divine Feminine, he doesn't see what lies ahead, that that's going to delay his communication with Divine Feminine. That's going to delay the union to start up, to rebuild, that will lead into union. It's like the rebuilding, the startup will be delayed. It will not work the way he plans it. That's basically what it's showing here. Another thing I see here is that it requires a lot of strength for this divine masculine to listen to the divine, to take the steps that the divine is showing divine masculine. And if he chooses to go on the path that the divine has shown him, he will have reunion. It will lead him directly to union, to marriage, to solid commitment. I see proposal here, marriage, solid commitment, taking it up the next level from A to B. But if he chooses his own path, it's like, let me do this thing first before I reconnect with Divine Feminine. And I feel like that situation thing could be an actual situation. It may not even be a job. It could be something else. I feel it's something that it's keeping this masculine a little bit stuck. If he chooses to go on his own path, because he has free will, right? It will delay him from union. It shows here that the offer that's supposed to be made will not be made at that time. Because I see two offers here. One, a possibility of it being made. And, 
and the possibility of it not being made because of the path that he chooses to go on. But if he chooses to reconnect with this divine feminine, whoever this resonates for, that will lead to reunion, commitment. This reunion will be so, so precious, so beautiful. It's like he would be like, what was I thinking? Why didn't I do this any? Why didn't I do this sooner? I see here that focusing on the new beginning that will lead towards Divine Feminine. It does require a lot of work on Divine Masculine's part to start anew. A lot of focus on self. A lot of focus on self-love. Worth. Having the strength and confidence in self that they can be the counterpart for Divine Feminine. Meaning taking on that responsibility and feeling worthy of it. This Divine Masculine will come into his full strength. What once felt like what once felt like a disappointment will feel like nothing. I feel like the things that worry the, demas the Divine Masculine at this time will seem very small. When he comes into union, he'll be like, wow, I used to worry about the littlest things. <laughs> but now that I have this love with Divine Feminine, I can see so much more. There's so much more to life. There's so much more to love, connections, relationships. Relationships with loved ones, with family, with friends, with people. That there's more to this experience than I was aware of. This masculine will be enlightened. He will be transformed. He will have a rebirth. This will all come about especially when he comes into union with Divine Feminine. But the first step is for him to make that communication. It shows here that making that first move to communicate with Divine Feminine is a tough one for masculine. It's like he is debating, should I or should I not? It feels like I feel like he feels overwhelmed by that communication as well. And it's it's kind of strange, but I see here, it's like the fear of what if it does work? Then what? And what I feel that fear is coming in is because of something that he wants to work on. It's like, what if it does happen and it's very quick? Can I handle it? Am I ready to to take responsibility for this connection. Am I ready? And I feel like not only emotionally or it feels like material-wise, feels like material-wise. Like if I'm ready to take on this role as Divine Masculine and to provide I feel like he, he feels Divine Feminine is quite strong, but he wants to be able to contribute as well. He wants to feel good about self. But it shows here that once he does connect with Divine Feminine, there will be a clearing out of the old. And again, what once used to feel like such big worries, will no longer feel like anything. It's like, wow, those things are very small to compare compared to what I know now or what I've experienced now. I feel like there are going to be great moments, great experiences in this masculine's life, life up ahead that the things of the past will feel like feel like just like small small examples. Not the real thing, you know?
it shows here that taking on the responsibility as masculine up ahead it's a huge responsibility for this masculine and in some days he may feel overwhelmed he may feel drained exhausted but divine feminine stands next to divine masculine in this reading and help balances balance divine masculine out there's some some moments where divine masculine may fe feel overwhelmed with his path when they come into union the things that divine masculine will will be doing i feel like he will take on a lot and because he is capable of taking on a lot but at the same time there might be some some days where he may feel too overwhelmed but the love of divine feminine it's your words it's your nur nourishing um nurturing it feels like nourishment happiness love divine love that helps bring this divine masculine into balance to restore his balance to restore i feel peace you will balance each other out so this is a reading for today. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye everyone.